back to Hilton Coliseum. This place is rocking. And there is the head coach of the Golden Gophers, Clem Haskin, in his seventh year guiding Minnesota. And you see the uh, career record they've had on the road. Johnny Orr Cyclones haven't played much better on the road, but at Iowa State, an incredible 190 wins now for Johnny Orr as head coach of Iowa State. Gary, this has a big game feel to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think everybody's really up for this one. This is the first, I think, real test at home for Iowa State as well. And the opening tip comes off to Zygma Sabo. Now he gets it back to Townsend Orr. It's one of the key matchups right there. Bayless against Townsend Orr, and we talked about pressure on the ball. Trying to work it inside. Hoiberg, good defense. Iowa State loses the handle, but that's great stuff from the Cyclones to start things off. You might not recognize Justice Thigpen. He's got a brand new hairdo. Reminder, later in the game, we'll be selecting the Pioneer Seed Corn player of the game. Now they've given the ball back to Iowa State. J.C. Leinbach, the officials underneath, was said they were contesting at Minnesota. He looked for help, neither one of the other two officials had the call or was able to see it, so he had to go with his own call. Nikolay, now to Meyer. And they're working around the perimeter of the Cyclones. Bayless inside, he's fouled! Expected to see the Gophers play a lot of zone. We probably will see them play zone. But here they start man for man. Iowa State with their cutting game. Watch Bayless come up here. Double pumping underneath. Takes it up. Up off the glass. Gets us the foul. Now he'll beat there for one. And Townsend Orr with his first, Gary. Boy, he's got to stay in the lineup with McDonald out. No doubt about that. That's a key player for them. And Bayless remains red hot at the free throw line. He's hit 90% this year. 3 0 Iowa State, just the start of things. We're settling in in Ames. The double, double team. Up. Here comes Hoiberg. They got the numbers. Nice job. Excellent job off the transition game, or off the transition off the defensive uh, turnover by Minnesota. And now this place is really rocking. Stolen away again. You got to look up, Julius. There it is. Place would have exploded had that gone down. You know, I don't think not only are the fans ready, I think the players are ready. Tell the difference. Iowa State kids really seem to be fired up. Almost stolen by Thigpen. Leonard now backs out. Thigpen got it. What a theft for Justice. Well, he leads the Cyclones and steals this year so far too. Justice Thigpen with the steal. Iowa State putting all kinds of pressure on the Golden Gophers right now. Around to Meyer. Ziga Masabo had to foul. No choice. And Meyer will go to the line where he's hit just 50% this year. Boy, and Iowa State doing a great job here in early going of hitting the open man and finding him. Here's an over-the-top pass to Meyer down He takes it up strong. Ziga Masabo with the foul. He's the young man that's only played basketball since about 1987. Came over from Africa. Boy, a great name, huh? Ernest Zigamasabo. I'm just glad he's not guarding Julius Mikulik, or we really have a mouthful. <laughs> Haskins is really disappointed with the injuries on his team, with McDonald and Carter going down. Meyer hits them both. Here's a Budweiser quick stat coming up for you. Look at the turnovers, and Iowa State is converting those turnovers into points. And you can see a 7-0 lead for the Cyclones. We had 10 guys up the top of the circle that time defensively. Iowa State trapping in the corner. I'm sure the Golden Gophers haven't felt this kind of pressure all year. As you mentioned, a cupcake schedule. Rebounded by Mikulik. Here comes Bayless. Ahead to Meyer. Look out! Oh, boy! State running. Wow! Hoiberg! Here comes Bayless again! For three! When you feel it, keep it going, and Clint Hassel's got a timeout, and it's a good timeout for him as the Cyclones are off and running.
You know, a lot of things that are pretty good by themselves are even better when you put them with something else. Kind of like Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Iowa and Farm Bureau. Now, on the one hand, you've got Blue Cross and Blue Shield and their great health care insurance plans. And on the other, you've got Farm Bureau and their great local agents. Now, you put them together and you've got one heck of a sandwich. Get the best of both. Call your local Farm Bureau agent about Blue Cross and Blue Shield insurance today. Make it a Bud Light. Sorry, we just ran out. Oh. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Bud Light? Try Flight 261 out of L.A. Oh, oh, thank you. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Uh, do you have a Bud Light? Yes. Welcome aboard, sir. Great. Where are we going? Ranger World, Dewey Ford, party on! Dewey Ford presents the 93 Rangers starting at $89.90. No way! Way! The number one selling pickup for six straight years with body-on-frame construction, standard rear wheel anti-lock brakes, preferred equipment packages. Is that a 4x4 four four I see? It's new for 93. Excellent! And Dewey Ford's got a huge selection of 93 Rangers. And ask about the phone deal. It's totally cellular. Ranger, Ranger World, Dewey, Dewey Ford, East Fourth and Grand. Party on, guys. Party on, party on announcer. announcer. Wow, what a start for Iowa State. 12-0 lead. Iowa State has hit four of five from the field as this Budweiser quick stat shows you that percentage. Minnesota has only attempted two shots. It all adds up to that dozen-point lead for the Cyclones. With Gary Thompson, I'm Dave Armstrong at a, an excited Hilton Coliseum. Now you notice Minnesota that time switched to Bashan Leonard to bring the ball down, taking the ball away from Ron Bayless. Now Justice Sigpin will be covering. Hoiberg got a hand on it again. Man, Iowa State is denying every entry pass. Let's recheck now the keys to victory brought to you by DuPont Extra Zine 2. Well, in the early going, it's all Iowa State. Minnesota has not been able to control the running game. They haven't been able to get into their half-court offense. Iowa State, the boards are holding their own. Back in Minnesota, and they're doing a great job of pressuring the ball. 3-1 advantage on the glass for Iowa State right now, and a 12-0 advantage on the scoreboard. With these two pick, Scooby Dave, with these two pick guys in there, Meek Lake or Meyer, either one can play the post or the forward spot. Or tip that one out of bounds. It will stay with Iowa State with 23 on the shot clock. to Mikali. Bayless for another three. That's well long. Maybe a little bit out of Ron's range, and then Ron came in to try to steal it away from Orr and just bumped him right onto the ground here. So that's the first foul on Bayless. Remember, later in the telecast, Gary and I are going to be choosing the DuPont Extra Zine 2 off the bench award winner. That's the player who comes off the bench to make the biggest contribution to his team. Extra Zine 2, the people who go no-till go Extra Zine 2. And you look at Dana Jackson, who has checked in now for the Golden Gophers. And Sigma Sabo will take a rest. And Orr goes back to handle the ball. It might not have been by design. I thought it probably was designed if Vashon Leonard brought the ball up. Leonard, nice move. First points for the Golden Gophers. No, that's one thing they've worked with him on this year, Leonard. He is strictly a three-point pull-up shooter. They've been trying to get him to go to the basket, and it was a nice drive that time. Mikalik for three. Oh, well long, an air ball. That's unusual for Mikalik, who is 9 of 14 now in the year from outside the arc. Thompson Moore looks a little shaky as he handles that ball. Looking for a three. In and out, no good. Hoiberg did a good job again, sealing off on the glass. Cyclone's a great job here in the early going. He's used that sealing off, giving the Minnesota only one shot, and that's their strength. 
thrown down by Colander and out of bounds, and Fred just let it go. But Dave, that was a smart play on the part of Colander. He's going out of bounds. You don't want to save it back into the Iowa State's territory, so he throws it ahead. If he gets one of his guys going down there, he maybe gets two. Otherwise, he's not giving up an easy two to the Cyclones. Yeah, because he throws it back towards Iowa State's basket. You know, they might have uh, the numbers game. Mika League for four. <laughs> yeah, that was way out there. He probably figured his first one was so long he'd go further out. Rebounds, it will stay with Minnesota, but again, Hoiberg, he's everywhere. Yeah, he's, I was just going to say, he is playing center field right now for the Cyclones. He's covering up on a lot of, a lot of passes inside. And he's playing center field like Willie Mays right now. Or just being shadowed by Ron Bayless. Thompson North probably saying, oh, great. Nice time for McDonald to get hurt. Tubbs puts it up left-handed, no good. Meyer got it, and guess who was there? The center fielder, Holbert. Iowa State has him scored since that Clem Haskins timeout. Boy, Burke's amazing. He leads his club in rebounding, 5.6, and particularly his size. And a foul. Who's that going to go against? I think it's going to go against Justice Thigpen for charging in. It is. You can see the action. There's Justice oh, comes across, jumps in, defensive man. And boy, he gets just a shoulder. I mean, really didn't get him head on as Justice jumped away from the defensive man. Close call. That's still the toughest call in the game. Nice shot by Tubbs. Nate Tubbs, a senior out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, with a tough shot over Mikuli. Yeah, not knowing it as an offensive player, as an excellent defensive player, but that's one of the things he's working on is his offense. Let's watch it here. Iowa State doing a good job of recovering under press, not letting him get the easy one. Mikuli goes up, gets part of the wrist, and Tubbs gets the bucket. As you mentioned, not much of a score. In fact, this will be his first trip to the free throw line this year, averaging just three points per game. And that's no good, so he's 0 for 1 from the line for 1992. This crowd, after that 12 nothing spurt, wants to cheer again. And a foul in the paint. I think that one's going to go against Jason Walton. It is. It's his first, the team's third. Golden Gophers, they'll let you know when you go through as a cutter. They'll give you an elbow, a shove, a hip. They're a physical team. Hey, there's that play to Thigpen again. It didn't work this time. Suppose that was that wink again. You yeah. remember how Bela said, I just gave a wink to Justice up there in Minnesota. Yeah, a wink and a nod, and it was a victory for Iowa State. What a wild finish that was. I don't think I've ever seen a game finish that way. Big leak, a good job defensively, staying down on his feet. Colander being bothered by everybody. Thigpen got a hand on that one. Now, you know, who did they give the steal to on that? Actually, it was Thigpen that made the steal. Vinkley come up with the ball, and I think Justice Hill get credit for a steal. Yeah, they go half and half, yeah. like a sack in the NFL. You get credit for a half steal. Thigpen pulls up. That's well strong. And they do not want to get into that type of game. They're having success running their offense. Go back, turn it over. Two on one. Bayless. Threw the defender to him and opened it up for Mikuli. Back to a 10-point advantage for the Cyclones. Under 13 to go in his first half. Tubbs double team now, sealed off. Look out, he's got to get rid of it. Finally does to Colander. Now out to Walton, around to Orr. He'll reset the offense. This is the kind of game Minnesota likes to play, the half-court offense. But if Minnesota catches the ball with their back to the basket down deep, then you know they're able to have some success or do what they want. But basically, they've been facing and shooting the basket. Tipped out. Bayless again there. And here comes Mikuli. Back to Ron. Shaking and baking. Around to the hoop. Off the glass. And then he's fouled. Colander sealing off on the rebound. Clem Haskins is over there. He is upset. He ripped off his coat. But I think it was an excellent call. 
Bayless with his quickness beat Colander up to the ball. I think we get a chance to look at it. Watch here, a little razzle-dazzle behind the spin, turns, steps, goes through. Now watch where the foul comes. Watch Bayless get back up quick, and there you see Colander with the hand right across his wrist. That's a good call. Not a shooting foul for Bayless. Beecham, who's checked in for three. A little bit cold off that bench. Pearl gets it back. Big Pen gets a breather now for Iowa State. Inside, Meyer, look out again. Great move by Lauren Meyer. Didn't get the basket, but tremendous move by the sophomore. Uh, the first part of this ball game, there is a lot of hustle. Watch this now. Come down, Meyer posted down. So one big step, powers it up, takes it away from the defender, and that's where he catches the foul right there as he takes it away. First foul on Tubbs, the fifth team foul on the Golden Gophers. And Meyer, who's already hit two tonight, will go back to the line. Good. Meyer coming off his career best, 16 against Texas Southern. Throwing help in his average, he was 6 out of 12 coming into this game, but he's got his stroke tonight. Nikolik gets the rest as Howard Eaton checks in. Oh, what a wild start to this one. These guys got to be gassed a little bit. That one off, no good. Long rebound comes to Colander. 15-4 our score. Iowa State with an 11-point lead. You see Bayless forces him to turn all the time. He can't handle him head up. Good help defensively for Iowa State. Triple team. Tubbs fake the shot. I'm sure Iowa State's saying, beat us outside, except for Deshaun Leonard. They want everything inside, so they're really doubling down, and that time tripling. They had three guys. Tubbs again doesn't want to shoot that long one. Gets it around to Leonard. Good shot by Deshaun Leonard. He's a good looking player, isn't he? Well, he can shoot it outside and shooting 54% from the field. The interchange on the offense. Down low, Beecham. Boy, he had it whacked away from behind by Colander. And Chad, perhaps fortunate not to get the call there. We get the call for the timeout. With 11-11 to go, Clem Haskins is concerned because his team trails by nine. Early this morning, Craig Walsh left the Hy-Vee warehouse in Iowa with a full load for a Minnesota store. Now, rather than have Craig return empty, we sat down with suppliers across the Midwest and worked out a schedule that helps everyone save money. Now, when Craig unloads here, he'll pick up a load from a supplier nearby and then come home. It's a simple idea, one that keeps our transportation costs and your grocery costs down. Low prices, all day, every day, at hy V. Hi, Pat Summerall here at True Value, where the main attraction is personal service. Or is it low prices? Well, let's find out. They do have sales, and you can tell it's a sale price. It's not just a few pennies. It's a real sale. I like their quality and their service. You look for that one star, and you trust it, and that's where you go. For personal service and low prices, bring your family to ours, the True Value family of stores. Everything I needed to, uh, to move into my new house, I, I bought right here. You know, Diet Pepsi's now for everyone. That's right, Ray. Meet my twin brother, Irv. And our twin, Peter Irv X. <laughs> With caffeine-free diet Pepsi, I get all that great uh -huh. taste, but there's no caffeine. Just sing it, bro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You got the right one, baby. It is irresistibly sippable, uncontestably tasteable, and caffeine-free. You got the right one, baby. There's no one to say, uh-huh. The Golden Gophers are tough inside, but this is what Iowa State's doing right here, is to take that game away from two and three guys around the ball when it goes inside. And they're drawing a crowd. This telecast, a copyrighted presentation of Iowa State University and the Cyclone Television Network. Any use of the pictures or accounts of this telecast without the express prior written permission of Iowa State University and the Cyclone Television Network is expressly forbidden. Iowa State got off to a 12-0 start, now leading 15-6. Out of bounds off the Gophers that will stay with Iowa State. 
think Hurl Beecham had the right idea. It looked like Meyer had his man shielded off where he could go with a baseline pass. Just was not able to get it through. Oh, out top to Hoiberg. Minnesota picking up the tempo on their defense right now. Beecham knocked over, no call. Now thrown away. Good pressure defensively by David Grimm. knocked over before now a little touchy there and I get a, a foul called and a seat on the bench as Justice Thigpen checks back in for the Cyclones. So does Bayless. So it's Bayless, Hoiberg, Thigpen, Meyer and Howard Eaton. Leonard's out there along with Colander, Tubbs, David Grimm. And the fifth player out there is Damon Jackson. Inside to Jackson. Well, that's a lot. Didn't get called. No. I didn't see who it was for Iowa State, but they got a hand on the ball as he swung into the middle, and that caused him, what I thought, just to walk with the ball. Since that 12-zip start for Iowa State, it's been an 8-3 run for Minnesota, and they're back in this game. succeeded in slowing the tempo of this contest too, Gary. Right. And a little bit better. Uh-oh. Grimm has it ripped away. Here comes Bayless. Two on one with Big Pen. What a great pass! And Grimm fouled. Oh, that was a thing of beauty. A no look. Iowa State wants the basket to count. It won't. Well, he lured the defensive man to sleep right here. Watch him. He looks the other way and then goes right against the grain and gets it inside. It looked like he did get the ball on the way out. Yeah. Right there, yep. Officials have done a good job. <laughs> Iowa State complained on one, Clem Haskins on another one, and then we think they were right on both calls. I think Penn will shoot two at the line, where he's hit just 67% this year, but just is showing signs in the last couple of games of coming out of his early season slump. 42 points, but to me, the most important thing he dished out 13 assists in those two games. Yes. I think when he's distributing the ball, his offense is going to be even better as he distributes it. Boy, Haskins looks like a, somebody r ran over him with something. I mean, his shirt's all out and he's got the tie loosened. He's really gone to work here early. Iowa State with the trap. See, Minnesota, I don't think, is going to be the type of team that makes them pay a penalty once they beat the pressure. There was 36 on the shot clock when they crossed the timeline. Jackson looking inside, now back out to Leonard. Around to Orr with 19 on the shot clock. See right now, the pressure's not on the ball as, the tough as, as tough as it was originally in the game. Of course, you come out, you get a little tired. And <laughs> Graham with a nice look down Jackson low to Danny Jackson. Jackson with a couple of straight buckets now for the Gophers. Boy, and Jackson, probably their most productive player for minutes played. He averages 14 minutes and gets eight points and five rebounds a game during that 14 minutes. Now, Iowa State starting to stand around a little bit on offense. And a foul as Hoiberg trying to get loose inside. That one on Jackson, his first. That should be the seventh team foul against Minnesota. I believe that uh, Mikalik will be going to the line shooting the one and one. Ron Bayless went over to the official and told him, hey, he pointed to the scoreboard. He said, hey, we're in the one and one. The official said, I know, he's, <laughs> he's there. <laughs> and that's a good guy to have there. Look at that percentage from the line. Well, just as soon as I say that, he misses the front end. The travel. And the pressure of Iowa State, too much for Minnesota. You make a good point, too, Gary, because they can put the pressure on without the fear of really getting hurt. Meyer will check back in. Hoiberg stays in. He thought he was coming out, but it's Howard Eaton will get a rest. 
not only have, going back to your point there, Dave, not only have they not attacked against the pressure if they beat it, but Iowa State's done a good job of covering up and getting back. This is David Washington checking in now for Colander. Washington, a sophomore out of Albion, Michigan. And perhaps seven point lead for Iowa State Cyclones have led by as many as 12 what they have to do is when they play the half court game is stay with that offense Bayless, for three. Bayless with nine points back to a 10 point advantage for the Cyclones Washington, who came into the game, a junior college kid, but they have given him a lot of minutes. He's averaging uh, about 15 a game. With Carter out, he was able to get more minutes. Hoiberg gets the steal after David Grimm putting the hang on it now. A foul on Leonard. That's his first. And Hoiberg will go to the line. That was the days of the old NBA about 30 years ago as they force out. <laughs> <laughs> Four side. Glenn eh? Haskins uh, trying to get his team going. Still has a young team, and Johnny Orr feeling like he was saying yesterday's had a couple of good days of practice since the Christmas break. And so I think we're ready to go now. I think our guys are going to play really hard from here on out. Well, they had two a days. Uh two of those days, I think, that yeah. they were back. Yeah, not, not a great <laughs> Christmas present, huh? You come back and guess what you get to open? A couple of practices per day. Well, if you took care of yourself over Christmas, those practices were a little bit easier. If you didn't, they were tough. Oh, boy. You get a little extra slice of pumpkin pie. That could have been painful. Well, it's painful for Minnesota right now. The Cyclones leading by a dozen. Is your bank's free checking really free? <laughs> With no minimum balance? Bad chance. No limit on the number of checks you can write? No monthly service charge? Your first order of checks free? Does your bank give you free checking as long as your account is at that bank? You've got to be kidding. Well, Norwest's unbelievable free checking gives you all this and more. So now what do you say? <laughs> It's here, and it's big. It's the biggest cash bonus ever on Ford Taurus. Get up to $1,500 for a limited time only. Start with $500 cash on every 93 Taurus in stock. Then if you own a business or work for a business, you can qualify for an additional rebate up to $1,000 for a total of up to $1,500. Add up to $700 in option savings and save up to $2,200. This one-time only limited time offer absolutely ends January 5th. We're at Robert's Dairy to study the making of their low-fat yogurt. After primping themselves for a formal evening out, the yogurt cows sachet past the paparazzi into the milking complex. Ah, yesterday, Pachelbel's Canon in D. Today, the Blue Danube Waltz, the particular favorite of the blueberry cow. One thing is clear, Robert's yogurt cows are the product of good breeding and active culture. Robert, how do you make it taste so good? That's nice to see Bob Euchre on hand in Ames, Iowa, as we check the True Value Hardware scoreboard. Marquette surprising Illinois right in the second half. And also in another game, it's Cincinnati leading Dayton at the half by seven. With Gary Thompson, I'm Dave Armstrong. And a sold-out Hilton Coliseum, Iowa State getting off to a 12-0 start. And that's their lead right now at 24-12 with 7.43 to go in the first half. Cyclones coming with their 22 press, 2-2-1. Two, two, and Jackson with a half dozen now. Jackson will be forever remembered by Iowa State fans as the guy who <laughs> threw it off the scoreboard. Back 
to Thigpen. Pulls up for the shot. Leonard let him have it. Justice said thank you very much. Here's where you want that ball in the middle. Thigpen whacked it away, went out of bounds. Justice is raising his game to another level in the last couple of games. Overall, the Cyclones are active tonight. You can tell that they're getting the balls, they're flicking balls away from defender, they're taking them away, they're quick. Well, don't forget, coming up at halftime, we'll be naming the Norwest Bank's Academic All-Star. That's coming up at halftime. In addition, we'll have a, an interview with Associate Athletic Director Dave Cox. Brian Wolf checks in. It's in number three. Bayless got a hand on it. And is that a charge? Yeah, it is. Walton with his second foul. He's having a frustrating night, averaging uh, 14 points a ball game. He has not been able to score so far. At least I have him for nothing. That's right. He does have nothing. And Clem Haskins is concerned because Walton just came off a game where he scored 20. Gets the baseline. Here comes Meyer. Gets there. Waits. Takes the hit. Iowa State doing a great job of coming in weak side help tonight. Haskins, I don't think that frown has been removed from his face since this <laughs> game began. Dave, I was coaching the Phillips 66ers when he was playing at Western Kentucky. An All-American player and a great basketball player. He was really tough. Good guard, wasn't he? He could take it inside or outside, either way. Were you around when Johnny played? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he coached against, uh, played against his team, high school team, when he was at Dubuque High School. Yep. Meyer one for two that trip. Four for six from the line for Lauren Meyer. But Iowa State now with their biggest lead at 13. Nearing the six-minute mark of the first half. Wolf, double team. Gets it over to Orr. Flashes in. Did he walk? Yeah, he did. Boy, the pressure that Iowa State is putting on Townsend Orr is too much for him to handle. Time now for our Pioneer Seed Corn trivia question. Who holds the record for the highest scoring average in a career? I know Gary knows, but we'll tell the rest of you in the second half. Minnesota's jacked it up a little bit defensively. More pressure on the ball. Sometimes, in a way, that can help you offensively because you're more susceptible to a backdoor play if you're on defense. Bailiff pulls up for another. with a dozen already. Wow. Bayless averaging 13. And a 16-point Iowa State lead. Well long from Wolf. We see the Budweiser quick stats. Turnovers. Boy, Minnesota's really having trouble hanging on to it. And Iowa State capitalizing. Well, there's a big stat right there. 13 to 2 points off turnovers. Ziga Masabo's back in for Minnesota. Walton still scoreless. Jackson ripped away. Oh, but Bayless is on the line. Great play by Bayless. He's everywhere. I tell you, if there's an MVP on this team for this part of the season, I would say it's Ron Bayless. Mikalik would get some votes, but Bayless would get mine. Yeah, Bayless is so important because not only his defense, but his handling the ball. And you got to remember, there's not really a true point guard uh, after Bayless on this squad this year. You're right. Walt double teamed again. Oh, oh we almost had to pick. Walton charging in. Look at Iowa State's hands. They are everywhere. They are swarming, Dave. Woo. I think that's the correct word. They are swarming. And this crowd appreciates it, too. As Hoiberg gets a piece of the ball, gets the arm, but they are all over him, and the game plan is definitely make them beat us from outside. The ball goes inside, everybody's ducking back. That's only the fifth team foul. They're letting him shoot. Wait a minute. Look, is Ziga Masabo shooting that? Interesting. Or saying, come on. It was, he was not even close to the basket. I think he was fighting for his life as Johnny's explaining there just to take, get a hold of the ball. Well, a 
if he was shooting, he's got a funny way to shoot. But he didn't hit both free throws anyway, so it might have worked out better for Iowa State. Hoiberg flashes in. Stinkman pulls up for three! Three-pointer by He's got his stroke yeah. back. Wow! You see, even when they beat a trap, they are playing at a pace way beyond what they're capable of right now. We've had travels when a guy is open, throwaways. Here they come again. Inside, Meyer can't hang on. A foul. Sigma Sabo, his second. Watch Fred passes up a shot, goes inside. And Meyer doesn't handle it, but it was Meyer was going to be right in there deep. And then the foul on Sigma Sabo. That's the tenth foul on Minnesota, so Lauren will get to shoot two. Well, the Cyclones have really done a job taking away the inside game. Chad Colander, the starting center back in, neither he or Walton have scored. Colander last year, his career high against Iowa State up there off the bench with 16. Meyer, who has had good first halves in each of the last two games, off to another great start. Lauren Meyer really took advantage of getting an opportunity to start. He has been terrific ever since he's been in that starting lineup. He's been good on the boards tonight. He's been head and shoulders up there at times above everybody else. 4.22 to go in the first half, and look at that lead for Iowa State. Who would have thunk it? This isn't Mercer they're playing, folks. Minnesota changing their offense. This is the best I've seen Iowa State play all year. They're really playing alert. They're going for the loose balls. Oh! Bayless grabbed by Le Leonard. That's his second. Bayless, boy, he's feeling his oats tonight, isn't he? <laughs> he certainly is. Well, uh, the break hasn't hurt him at all for the Cyclones. No. They picked it right up where they left off against Texas Southern. What a Merry Christmas it must have been for these Cyclones, and they're making it a Happy New Year early. That one looks strong the moment he let it go. Rare miss for Bayless. Very rare. You know, he was leaning right from the start, too. <laughs> leaning forward. That's more like it. We have a time out. And listen to this place. A brief reminder from Farm Mutual. Whether you live in the country or in town, you don't have to have a cow to call us. Farm Mutual, a policy of working together. A brief reminder, we insure small farms too. Farm Mutual, a policy of working together. For nearly 40 years, Reader's Red Power has provided Iowa farmers the best equipment and service for their hard-earned dollars. Like this case, Row Crop Special, because sometimes a four-wheel drive needs more than just muscle. It needs versatility, which is just what you'll get. You'll find stunning torque figures, big horsepower, and increased productivity with surprisingly good fuel economy, an air suspension seat, unimpaired vision, easily accessible cab, and a microprocessor with analog gauges. You'll work comfortable and smart with a case Row Crop Special from Reader's Red Power in Carroll and Grand Junction. Folks, for the used car luxury buyer, Stivers Lincoln Mercury offers an exceptional value. Low mileage, 92 Lincoln Town cars, elegantly equipped, starting at $19,988. As always, at Stivers Lincoln Mercury, we believe it, and you've proved it, price sells cars. We're downtown at 11th and Locust and on the Merle Hay Auto Mile. Stivers Lincoln Mercury. 
Cyclone Illustrated. Sign up today for just 35 bucks by calling 1-800-497-9562. That's 1-800-497-9562. Have they got your new Kansas City address? Uh, for not yet. For that issue? <laughs> I don't have my new Kansas City address yet. <laughs> sure, I'm looking forward, though, to in with the Royals this summer and looking forward to the rest of this one as Iowa State's jumped off to a 20-point lead as you look at the Budweiser quick stat. Iowa State shooting around 47%, holding Minnesota to 44, and the Golden Gophers have been shooting 54% on the year. Again, you have to look at the quality of their opponents so far, including Bethune-Cookman, the opponent for Iowa State this coming Thursday. Yeah, they nipped them by 42. Yeah, nipped them. <laughs> yeah, they're only up by 25 at the half. So that's, what, excuse me, that's, Dave, that's where the ball can't go, right there, is that deep. Well, that time, Ziga Masapo was shooting it. That's about the first time that Minnesota's been able to get the ball in that kind of position. It's been a great defensive first half for our state. And foul on Wolf. It's first. Haskins came flying off the bench. <laughs> Probably upset with the, not the call, but the play of his his player, Ryan Wolf, saying, man, you're just giving him two shots here. They're over the big bonus right now. Big panic a couple of games ago. Went past my partner, Gary Thompson, and into 10th place in the all-time charts at Iowa State. And now with eight points so far here tonight. Big Finn and Bayless. I mean, you've got to talk about those guys as one of the best guard tandems in the country, don't you, Gary? Yeah, they are very tough. A lot of talk about, wait a minute. Now they're going to blow it down. Leonard just took off. There was a horn as Fred Brown wanted to check in. Clem Haskin wants the basket. The horn blew, but no one blew a whistle. Haskin sang over to Ron Spittler. I want, to, I want that basket to count. <laughs> Norris and really, he's talking to Lauren Meyer. He's not even worried about the call because he knows it's not going to be reversed. Ron Spittler, who last night was in San Francisco for a football game. He's one of the officials in the NFL. He told me the atmosphere was just electric when Montana came into the game. That's what everybody was there for. 20-point lead for Iowa State. That's their biggest, isn't it? We'll ask our crack statistician, Ted Tedesco, the biggest lead for Iowa State, 20. Now all the guys in the truck upset because I mentioned Ted's name again. They all want their name mentioned. All right, Mel Crippen, Bob Elmer's also alongside. And now you all got mentioned, and none of you got me anything for Christmas. Fred Brown whistled for the five-second five count. We talked about the boards at the top of the show. Iowa State right now leads Minnesota rebounding by one. Under two and a half to go in the first half, a first half that has belonged to Iowa State. Quick spurt got the Cyclones started, 12-0 to begin the game. And a little bit of a layoff, and a foul on Leonard. That's his third. Oh, that's big. He's their best player, and he's got three fouls. Good job by Meyer of jumping out. Edging on the play. Let's watch here. Here he comes around. Meyer and Meyer goes and gives a little bit, and Leonard just runs right over it. Well, it was the shoulder that gave him away when he kind of lowered into Lauren Meyer. Lauren did a good job of getting down in a hurry, too, didn't he? Oh, off Bayless and out of bounds. Turnover for the Cyclones. A rare turnover for Iowa State in this game. Iowa State with a small lineup in there right now. And they've got Bayless and Thigpen and Wheat and Brown and Lauren Meyer, the only real big guy. Wheat, I guess, could semi-qualify for that. Colander might have carried it. Well, it's tough to get a carry call in this day and yeah. age anymore. Way long. Thigpen just waited for him. You get an idea why Iowa State's game plan is to force them to shoot outside. Brown, that's a tough shot. Tipped it, almost went in. Is he quick from the oh, floor yeah. to the ball? Huh? Bayless, nice pick set by Tubbs. He was sealed off. Masabo inside to Colander. 
Colander. High low, and that's the first by Colander. First Minnesota, two points. Yeah, Minnesota, you're right. Minnesota's going to take advantage of that smaller lineup for Iowa State. And a foul on Orr. That's his second. So the guards of Minnesota are getting in foul trouble. Orr with two. Leonard sitting on the bench with three. Hoiberg will check back in for Iowa State. Fred Brown will get a rest. 1-11 left to go here. No one in foul trouble for Iowa State. No one with more than one for the Cyclones. And Bayless will be shooting two. What more can you say about Ron Bayless? Guy's done just a terrific job for Iowa State offensively, defensively. And look at that. Now 15 points tonight. Averaging 31 minutes a game for the Cyclones, which is the most. He'd be averaging more, except for those six games where they had blowout victories. And he's a guy that can play 40 full minutes. And a foul on Colander as he set a heavy pick. And Haskins is about ready to head north. Watch, Wheat 6'5", 207. Colander and just boom, puts the shoulder into him and takes Wheat to the out of bounds. Well, Spittler saw that move last <laughs> night in the NFL game. Only then it was uh, over to be called uh, unnecessary roughness. <laughs> I think the Golden Gophers are frustrated to say the least here in the first half. They're not so golden tonight. Hey, 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 Morgan Wheat with his first point of the game. Well, he earned that one. <laughs> Man. I keep looking up at that scoreboard, Gary. I mean, we were talking about this being a real tight, close, wonderful game. You said, you know, a lot of times these can be blowouts, and this one is. Look at that. 42, actually. 42-19. Meyer just with another sensational first half of play. Meyer's got 11 in the first half. Whoa. Count the basket. Bayless too far under the basket to draw the charge. But very few easy baskets. That was not an easy basket for Minnesota. That was a tough shot. Shot clock is turned off. Iowa State can go for the last shot of the first half. Minnesota pressure, you might catch a back door. Oh, there went Bayless on the back door. And Freddie threw it through the front door. Mika Lake will check back in for the final about 12 seconds, 11.7. But Iowa State has doubled the score of Minnesota right now, 42-21. with a nice pay. Shot no good. Oh, what a tip. Tremendous play by Tubbs at the buzzer, but that only pulls the Gophers within 19. Great first half for Iowa State. And this is the first time all year the Gophers have trailed. Tonight's Cyclone basketball game is brought to you by Bud Light. Everything else is just a light. By Pioneer Hybrid International Incorporated. By True Value Hardware Stores. Got a tough job to do? You can do it with True Value. By Norwest Banks, home of unbelievable free checking. And by DuPont Extra Zine 2. The people who go no-till go Extra Zine 2. Unbelievable free checking from Norwest Bank is making believers out of people. How do they do that? There's no minimum balance, no limit on the number of checks you can write. Wow. And none of those high monthly service charges. I went down. I went down. And the offer is good as long as your account is at your Iowa Norwest Bank. Unbelievable free checking. Everyone's talking about it. It's been said, living in the country, running a farm and working with the land lets you better appreciate the basic things in life and better see what really counts. 
like the value of good decisions and how you find it's often what you carry with you that determines how far you go. Register free. The new Weight Watchers for a brand new you. Call today. People that first come to Subway are a little surprised we don't have sandwiches ready, just fresh bread. That's so you can see your sandwich being made and tell me if you like onions, tomatoes, or even hot peppers. I'm not a mind reader, and there's lots to choose from. If your sandwich looks as good as it tastes, that's because Subway has a training center where experts like Mr. Pilchin teaches the art of making beautiful sandwiches. He calls himself an art teacher. I guess that makes me a sandwich artist. Ask a sandwich artist to make you a six-inch meatball sub. Now just $1.69 at Subway. The students in Professor John Corbett's research group at Iowa State University are helping push out the frontiers of science. They have a chance to share in the discovery of an entirely new class of chemical compounds. Nearly a thousand have been synthesized here for the first time. And they're studying under a professor who happens to be a member of the National Academy of Sciences, an honor bestowed on only the most distinguished scientists from around the world. At Iowa State University, the standard is excellence. Welcome back to Hilton Coliseum in Ames, Iowa. Iowa State beating Minnesota 42-23 at the half with Gary Thompson. I'm Dave Armstrong. Gary, I don't think I've seen Iowa State play better this year. That's the best 20 minutes of basketball this year. They were terrific. As uh, Johnny Orr would say, uh, we were we were hot right now. We were out there running and gunning, and uh, they just did everything well. They put pressure on uh, Minnesota, made it tough for them getting their offense. Lauren Meyer and Bayless, well, everybody was terrific. And the way they're going after loose ball, they were a quick, quick team in that first half. And I guess the key now is to make sure they keep up that kind of intensity in the second half. Don't leave it in the locker room. Come out right now and continue where you left off. All right, Gary, and uh, time now to honor our Norwest Bank's academic all-star. Norwest Bank's home of unbelievable free checking. And our academic all-star this week is Andrew Bugs, a senior majoring in higher education from Carson, California, a talented performer on the Cyclone football team. Andrew Bugs also excels in his academic effort so congratulations to Andrew Bugs tonight's Norwest Banks academic all-star Norwest Banks home of unbelievable free checking unbelievable for Iowa State right now leading Minnesota 42-23 Introducing the Bud Light Jaguar Racing Team. Catch it this season. How do we get the truck back? Throw it in reverse. Let's go. With a gentle hand and an eye on the future, they're changing how they work. They're taking their corn no-till, and while that means less erosion and more soil moisture, it also brings on real needs for burn down of emerged weeds, for residual control while the corn grows. They are finding the solution. Extrazine 2. The people who go no till go Extrazine 2. Never before, Ford Motor Company is allowing Charles Davis Ford to sell 93 Ford Tauruses at an all-time low, history-making price. 93 Tauruses as low as $12,590. These new 93 Tauruses are loaded with equipment. Automatic transmission, air conditioning, rear defrost, power steering, brakes and mirrors, driver's side airbag, and much, much more. Now, this offer must end December 31st. Or if you prefer, ask about our 1.5% lease rate. Don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to own the number one selling car. Only at Charles Davis Ford, the big store. Just what you wanted for the holidays. Movies from McDonald's for your family and friends. Give them the hilarious Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Or the family favorite, Babes in Toyland. Each video just $5.99 when you buy any large sandwich. Or surprise them with Dances with Wolves, the original full-length version. 
Unbelievably priced at only $7.99 when you buy any large sandwich during McDonald's Holiday Film Festival. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. Iowa State getting an early start on a happy new year, leading Minnesota at the half. 42-23 our score. We're happy to be joined now by the Associate Athletic Director here at Iowa State University, Dave Cox. And Dave, for uh, a, a number of times, Iowa State has hosted the NCAA Wrestling Championships, a, a record seventh time coming up in March. Tell us how it is that Iowa State keeps getting selected for this. Well, first of all, uh, tradition. Uh, we are in the heart of wrestling country, and historically, that's where it's all happened. You have to have the facility. You have to have the people that know how to uh, put on a tournament of this magnitude. And uh, you have to have a good track record. We have great crowds supported by the University of Iowa. Anytime that uh, they, they host one, our people go down there, and uh, we, have, we have a great atmosphere for it. What's required from the NCAA as far as hosting an event like this? Well, like I said, you have to have a facility because uh, yeah. there are eight mats right here that go out where, uh, where we're standing right now on the first two sessions. Uh, second of all, you have to have enough uh, uh, housing and a nice facility to, to seat 12 or 14,000 people. And again, like I say, you have to have the people that know how to do it. Dave, you're on the executive council for the NCAA wrestling programs. Uh, what changes have you seen through the years? Well, I, I think that probably the biggest change I've seen uh, have been in the rules. They're limiting the amounts of competition days. Uh, we're now allowed 16 days to compete. Uh, it's, it shrinks that season an awfully lot, but uh, they get in multiple competitions and other tournaments. So I think those rules, plus the safety rules, uh, the rules uh, with AIDS and mm -hmm. like any of the other sports, right. basically. And then in the sport itself, I think the, uh, the biggest change has been in parity. We lost some wrestling teams out on the West Coast, but the East Coast has really picked it up. Yeah, they certainly have. Bobby Douglas, the new wrestling coach now for Iowa State. How has the Cyclone community uh, enveloped him into their program? It's hard not to like Bobby Douglas. Yeah. Uh, if he were coaching ping pong, you'd like him. Yeah. Because he's a very aggressive guy. He... Um, uh, he's, uh, oh, I don't know, probably the most intense person I think I've ever met in my life. Loves to meet people, and uh, he's worked very hard. Of course, getting started as the Olympic wrestling coach, he didn't have a lot of time to get to know the community. Right. But... Uh, he does a great job. Good job with the mic, too. Yeah, the, you're not kidding. Uh, NCAA Wrestling Championships will be here March 18th through the 20th. How do they get tickets real quick? Well, call the Olsen Building Ticket Office, 294-1816. Uh, we have a heck of a lot more seats available than we do housing. Okay, well, great. Well, we'll uh, see how it goes. Thanks a lot, Dave, for joining us here at the half. Iowa State rolling over Minnesota right now. 42-23 our score. We'll look at the stats when we come back to Hilton in just a moment. Hey, Willard Scott here, talking with the good folks who shop at True Value. The question, is it the personal service or the low prices? Large selection, low prices, good quality merchandise that they do carry. You go in the big chain stores and uh, you try to find somebody to answer a question for you. The value is good, the selection is great. For personal service and low prices, bring your family to ours. The True Value family of stores. Yes, it's definitely a personal touch here. and Toyota. Pontiac Grand Am. Grand Am is priced hundreds less than the imports and comes with anti-lock brakes, air, and lots of driving excitement. I've got three numbers for those imports. 199. I've got three final words for Honda and Toyota. I'm buying Pontiac. See your Golden Circle Pontiac dealer. Stock up on Pepsi. 
Two 12-packs are on sale at Central Iowa Super Value Stores, so you can party till the people come home. Oh, tell me, how would you describe the typical Iowa State student? Hmm. That's kind of tough to say. Well, what do ISU students do for fun? It's hard to describe. Well, what do Iowa State students do when they graduate? They get jobs. Any more questions? No more questions. Tonight's game is brought to you by Pioneer Hybrid International Incorporated. Welcome back to Hilton Coliseum, Iowa State. Just romping over Minnesota, and we check a halftime stats brought to you by Bud Light. And look at that, Minnesota, even though they're shooting 50%, Gary, they trail on the scoreboard by 19. Well, points off turnovers, if you look down the bottom right there, 16 to 2 in favor of Iowa State. Mm. And Iowa State's uh, defense just been swarming on Minnesota, done a great job of keeping them uh, outside. And look at the rebounding. Iowa State actually is out rebounding this club by two. Now Minnesota's scoring is coming outside, too, Gary. Their inside guy is having trouble getting it in. Well, the front line, Walton did not score. He's averaging 14 a game. Colander, two, and, and Sigma Zabo, only three. That's amazing. Those guys have been scoring a lot for Minnesota. Let's check some scores now from around the country on the True Value Hardware scoreboard. You see Cincinnati leading Dayton in the second half. It's Marquette by three over Illinois. That one in the second half. And also, it's Evansville clobbering Indiana State 20 to 7, that one early on in the first half. Here we're at halftime, and it's Iowa State 42, Minnesota 23. Is your bank's free checking really free? <laughs> With no minimum balance? Bad chance. No limit on the number of checks you can write? No monthly service charge? Your first order of checks free? Does your bank give you free checking as long as your account is at that bank? You've got to be kidding. Well, Norwest's unbelievable free checking gives you all this and more. So now what do you say? <laughs> These are treasured natural resources, the envy of the world. And today they have a new lease on life. They're no-till corn acres. The people who work them are seeing less erosion, more soil moisture, and some serious needs for burndown of emerged weeds, for residual control while the corn grows. They're finding what they need. Extrazine 2. The people who go no-till go Extrazine 2. It's that time of year, Ford's year-end clearance. Save hundreds, even thousands, on five of the top ten best-selling cars and trucks in America. Choose from four different Escort LXs for $10,499. Great clearance prices on the Ford Probe. Motor Trends Car of the Year. Lease a Ford Taurus GL for only $248 a month. Now is the best time to buy Ford's year-end clearance. You don't want to miss it. We're studying Robert's delicious tasting cottage cheese. It's worthy for a dog as the cows awaken in their spacious two bedroom, one bath cottages. After an hour of social wooing and civilized cheese tasting, the herd moves into the milking complex, whereupon they are picked up, shaken profusely, and milked. The subsequent cottage cheese is then rushed to the store. So you can either pick up a package of Robert's cottage cheese at your store, or you can pick up a cow and shake it yourself. Robert's, how do you make it taste so good? Tonight's Cyclone basketball game is brought to you by Budweiser, the king of beers, with that clean, crisp, cold taste. Nothing beats a Bud. By Pioneer Hybrid International Incorporated. By True Value Hardware Stores. Got a tough job to do? You can do it with True Value. By Norwest Banks, home of unbelievable free checking. And by DuPont Extra Zine 2. The people who go no-till go Extra Zine 2. 
Iowa State leading by 19 at the half. We check uh, who's starting the, for each team in the second half. Brought to you by Norwest Banks, home of unbelievable free checking. And things get worse for Minnesota. That's their same starters, but Leonard and Orr. Leonard with three fouls, or with two. Those guys are in trouble. Colander and Walton also each have two fouls. And Zigamazabo with two. So they're starting lineup in foul trouble. As far as Iowa State's concerned, Mikalik only had two points at the half, but they didn't need him to score much because Bayless and Thigpen really picked it up with 15 and 9, and Lauren Meyer with 11 points in that first half. So Iowa State coming out. Johnny Orr probably said, let's keep it up. Let's come out hot. And we're going to come out hot on Thursday night. Check us out on CTN as we have that exciting Bethune-Cookman contest for you at 7 o'clock Thursday night. That'll get your New Year's Eve party started off in the right direction. I'll tell you what, I will guarantee an Iowa State win, all right? <laughs> or you're going out on a limb. I'm going on a limb, yeah. <laughs> I will go out on a limb and guarantee the win. Yeah, turnover quickly for Iowa State. Good move up and in by Walton. His first two of the game. Minnesota creates another turnover. Here comes Walton again. Bayless said, you're going to have to earn that one, young man. Bayless had his pocket pick twice. Wait a minute, they call that intentional? I didn't see the final flaw, but they might have called this intentional. It is. That means Minnesota will get the free throws and the ball. Let's watch it. He goes up, hangs on, takes him and grabs a hold. I think it didn't seem like that tough a foul right here, but he goes up, grabs him across there, and just kind of rakes it down. I've seen tougher, uh, tougher plays than that. Not the way Johnny Orr and Jim Hallahan wanted the second half to start off. Intentional foul is just the thing to get him going. You don't want to give a team a chance to get their heads up. Walton doesn't hit either free throw. Haskins with the tie adjusted and the jacket back on. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> Leonard way off target. Walton again, no. Meyer trying to get the handle on it. It'll be a tie-up, and the alternate possession will go to Minnesota. The Gophers battling back here, going a little stronger on the boards. Iowa State out-rebounding Minnesota in that first half. Minnesota's been out-rebounding their opponents by 12 a game. Good move by Leonard. Again, and it's Walton. Three or four cracks at the basket for Minnesota. Well, that's their strength, and that's something that Iowa State took almost completely away from them in the first half. Now it's Thigpen bringing it up. After a couple of turnovers by Bayless, Thigpen gets it. Nice spin move by Justin. <laughs> he is so savvy. And I really like Justice Thigpen. I have liked him for years. I struggled along with him in the early part of the season when he was starting slowly. And boy, it's nice to see him play good again. Pinkley coming up to double up right there. Oh, great move. Underneath by Zygamasabo. Got near the basket, thought he might have walked with it. Minnesota, even though they trailed 19 at the half, they're going to say, well, let's try to make a game of this thing. Tipped away by Leonard. here at the start of this half. Timeout, Iowa State. That's three steals for the Gophers. Just the thing that Johnny Orr and his Cyclones wanted to avoid. A quick run by Minnesota has pulled them to within 13. Name the game that gave you $100,000. The $100,000 game. The $100,000 cash game. The $100,000 game. The $100,000 daily game. A $100,000 daily game. The $100,000 cash draw. $100,000 daily game. No, I want $100,000. $100,000 cash game. What's in a name? $100,000. 
Just don't forget to play. There's only one way I know how to drive. Straight. If you've been drinking, pick someone else to do the driving. A message from Budweiser. A brief reminder from Farm Mutual. Whether you live in the country or in town, you don't have to have a cow to call us. Farm Mutual. A policy of working together. A brief reminder. We insure small farms, too. Policy of working together. It's the 11th hour, the deadline nears, and the tedious work begins. Good presentation, people. Now, we need 100 sets of this before we go home. Stanley, 100 sets, front and back, three-hole punched, and stapled. The Mita 8585 from Copy Systems, Inc. makes 85 copies a minute. Only a Mita will copy front and back, three-hole punch, collate, and staple automatically. See the high-value Mita copier duplicator at Copy Systems, Inc., the one company that helps run many. Only a Mita could do all this. Budweiser quick stand, Iowa State off to a slow start. You see the turnovers, four now for Iowa State this half, and Minnesota's capitalizing. They have shaved six points off that lead. Hoiberg for three! three. You saw Frank Fred there look where the three-point strike was. Back up a little bit. Knock it down. That one was in and out and back in again. Or That's well long. Tipped around. Colander had it blocked. And a foul on Mikuli. Oh, and the Gophers really going on those boards now. Watch this ball go up. Doesn't get it. The ball hangs up there high. They keep it alive, and that's the key. And Colander gets it, goes back up. And the foul charge to Julius Miklik is second. <laughs> Julius has not really been in the flow of this game tonight. Two mm -hmm. points in the first half and sat out a lot of the time in the first half. Yeah, that's characteristic for him. He's thrown up a couple of air balls, too. A great shooter, and unusual for him to do that kind of thing. Well, full court pressure now by Minnesota. Reminder later in the game, Gary and I are going to choose the Pioneer Seed Corn player of the game. Bounce pass. Cyclones working it around. Big pin goes right around Tubbs. Short. Rebound. Mikuli. He's fouled. Somebody got him, and that was Colander who picked up his third. Miklik recovers right here, pumps, goes up, and there's Colander as he takes it up on the reverse side with an arm across Mikalik's arms. Mikalik now with three points in the game. Respective coaches, Orr and Haskins. Julius, the only Cyclone to score in double figures every game this year. He's got a ways to go for the night. Right, right. It's just four right now, but he can score them in bunches. A couple quick three-pointers, and you got it. Yep. <laughs> the zone and it looks like 1-3-1 one, one, or a 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Hoiberg, another three! Wow! Well, Johnny Orr said today that Hoiberg had been shooting real well outside, but he thought he was ready to break loose. Walking on Leonard. Iowa State trying to widen that lead back again. Right now it's at 17 as Dana Jackson, Mr. Scoreboard, checks in for Zygma Sabo. Don't forget, Gary and I later we're going to select the off the 
Bench Award winner, sponsored by Extra Zine 2. Acknowledgement players come off the bench and make contributions to Pot Extra Zine 2. The people who go no-till go Extra Zine 2. Meyer's got to get rid of it. Does, but did he do it early enough? Uh-oh. Now Colander whistled for a foul on Meekly, and for Chad Colander, he has picked up foul number four. Big point in the game right here. Yeah, that's a big play because Colander had really been on that offensive glass. Let's watch here. He's riding on Meekly inside. Comes around, nothing's called. Comes around again, and then the foul is is called. I didn't see a whole lot there unless his backhand that we were hitting from was pushing on the back. And he's upset. <laughs> yeah, he's also out of the game. You know, those threes were really keys right here by Hoiberg. Bayless got it to go off the glass. With Minnesota making a run like they were, and then Hoiberg knocking those two three-point shots down. And it's back to a 19-point lead. That was the advantage at halftime. Or walk with it. Minnesota is unraveling. They'll start doing a jacket watch for Clem Haskins. That jacket he's wearing right now is not long for Hilton Coliseum. <laughs> Just humored by the comments of Robert Moreland, the head coach of Texas Southern, as you look at the Budweiser quick stat, who said, now I know what a cyclone is. <laughs> Jackson swings it around for Leonard. Or for three. Well off. Big fit. Easy rebound. Boy, outside of Leonard, they do not look good shooting the ball from outside. Meyer. Oh, wow. The big guy, as you look at him coming back, really coming around. He is so athletic for a big guy. And now Zygamasabo burns him the other way. This is the kind of game though. State would love an up and down. Under 15 to go in this one. And Iowa State trying to beat their first Big Ten opponent on the year. That one went off the foot of Tubbs. It will stay with Iowa State. Jason Walton checking back in along with Ryan Wolf for Minnesota. Or will get a rest. So will Ziga Masabo. Kind of a nice name to say, has a nice flow to it, doesn't it? Ziga Masabo. All the way out to Mikuli. For three. Ron Bayless. How many? What? Four. That's four threes. Oh. We're going to have to check, but I think the Iowa State record is five threes in one game. We'll put Ted Tedesco, our crack statistician, on that. Tubbs charging in, and they got Bayless for the foul, I believe. Said so Bayless kind of slid in underneath, and now Ron's got three fouls. Did you get the uh, answer from Ted? Five, yeah, it is. Five, five trays in the game is... I was sure it wasn't. Record. I think there's three or four guys. Right. Or three or four times it's been done. Bayless has got four in this game. Earlier this year, Hurl Beecham had four in one game. This time against Mercer. Back door. Oh, that should have gone. Boy, was that a good catch of the ball and adjustment to the basket. I just say. didn't go in. Leonard is fouled on his way to the hoop. That's going to go on Thigpen. Picks up his second. Thigpen, Iowa State, his second, third, 59-37 our score. Thigpen, they say now, was three fouls. I've got him for two. We're going to have to check. I think Thigpen might just have two fouls, but we'll check. On the corner, up and in from Basket Ryan Wolf. Well, he's a kid out of Indiana that's known for shooting. He was one for four in the first half. Jason.
Jason Walton sent him into tomorrow with that <laughs> shot. And that was reminiscent of the first half when uh, he went to the floor and boom, was right up to the ball. Let's watch it again. Comes through here, gets inside of the big guys, gets it maybe deflected a little bit, but watch him up here right there. He <laughs> gets the tip of the ball and then his rake down from behind. Walton with his third. Big pin. No good. Long rebound to Tubbs. And a wolf. Let's say to Walton. Knifing in. Good pass inside to Jackson. That's good job by Jackson. And a foul on Wolf. That's the fifth team foul now on Minnesota. This half. minutes to go in this one. Iowa State leading 59-41. Davis is fouled again. Wolf just can't keep up to him. Minnesota's come out aggressive on defense, but Iowa State is countered by going that backdoor pass. Let's watch here. Turns his head away from the from the ball right there where he can't see anything and then just rides Bayless on out. Gary, uh, Minnesota brought 15 guys with them. They might need them all by the time <laughs> this one's done. Leonard will take a rest. Leonard has avoided any further fouls in this half after picking up three in the first half. Davis now with 21. I won, man. One. This is a night when the Golden Gophers really miss Ariel McDonald, their normal point guard. Has really taking advantage of that mismatch. And the crowd loves him for it. He'll get a brief break, depending on how things go out there on the court. Full court pressure again by Iowa State. Moore breaks it into the paint, back out. Wolf was looking for the three, got inside. Ripped down. Who's got it? Who's got it? Who's got it? Finally. <laughs> Good hustle both ways. <laughs> that looked like a rugby scrum. Let's watch this action. Bodies going up, down, on the floor. Nobody can come up with it. Walton puts it down on the floor. We're finally going to get a jump ball as it goes between two or three legs. Minkalik between his legs, but it goes right to Orr. Walton Walk. Boy, another turnover for Minnesota. That's their 16. And Iowa State with nine. Four of those coming in about the first two minutes of the this, this second half. That's only the second road game of the year for the Golden Gophers. They started the year with five straight at home. for the foul, just the fourth team foul in Iowa State this half. Good look at Morgan right there. Came to Iowa State by way of Vanderbilt. Let's watch Wheat right here. Comes in there, finds it in a little flip pass to Meek Leak on in. Hits the open man, good play. And it all adds up to a 22-point lead for Iowa State. Unbelievable free checking from Norwest Bank is making believers out of people. How do they do that? There's no minimum balance, no limit on the number of checks you can write. Wow. And none of those high monthly service charges. I went down. I went down. And the offer is good as long as your account is at your Iowa Norwest Bank. Unbelievable free checking. Everyone's talking about it.
today. Let's bring it home. Central Iowans who have visited an Ames or Grimes Swift Stop know what real convenience is. We offer a wide selection of grocery items, snacks, and household needs, plus quality Phillips 66 super clean gasolines with diesel fuel offered at Grimes, Highway 141 next to Cuddy's. And when it comes to making the family car shine from bumper to bumper, there's no better place than the Swift Stop car washes. Experience friendliness and cleanliness at any of our Swift Stop locations. At Thompson Oil Company, we're proud to provide our customers with quality products from Phillips 66. Remember our Pioneer trivia question? Uh, scoring record for the highest scoring average in a career. Is it Gary? No, it's, you knew that though, didn't yep. you? Yep. You always know everything. <laughs> Don Smith, 66 to 68. Nice player. 22 points a game. Living out on the uh, West Coast right now, out in, uh, I think, Washington. Two guys down. Again, it's all over the place. Eaton comes up with it, and Walton comes up with a foul. His fourth. See the Budweiser quick stat. A field goal percentage for Iowa State this half. That's terrific. And Iowa State has widened the gap to 22. Now, Howard Eaton will go to the line. That's the seventh team foul on Minnesota. He'll be shooting the one and one. So the 41 points there by the Golden Gophers. They're the top scoring club in the Big Ten right now. Oh, those old-fashioned guys. I like the one and one. I'm not sold on this 10 foul deal. I, I don't mind doing it, but let's do it at 12 or 15. That 10 is too quick. It didn't do what it was intended to no. do, and that was speed up the game. Not at all. The, the, the strategy is still there. You have to do certain things. Yeah. Yeah. You have to foul him. You have to yeah. take a chance that he won't hit both. Right. There's a rule put in by bad free throw shooting team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> State's a good one, 73 percent for the team. It's a terrific step. Well, that can win a lot of ball games. Leonard for, for a three. That's good. Good execution. Go inside. Defender turned back. He slid to the open spot and got the return pass. Leonard is good a shooter as he is, hitting just 30 percent from three-point range this year. State overall, they've moved pretty well on their offense. Keep the ball moving, passing. And a foul inside on Leonard. That's number four. With Sean Leonard, look at the look on his face. Like, oh, well, man. Well, you get tired of chasing those cyclones in that cutting game. <laughs> well, you really do. Look at that. Minnesota's got three guys ready to take a permanent seat in this one. Well, we can't hit the free throw. It won't get the bonus. Morgan Wheat has played with some fire tonight, though. And that pass was something yeah, else. That Jackson, looks long, and Howard Eaton got him. So Jackson will go to the line shooting, too. Just the first foul on Eaton. Ball on 43. Only the fifth team foul on Iowa State. Only the tenth team foul on Iowa State this game. Jackson shooting. When you're playing quicker in a team, that's normally what happens. Uh, you get the fouls called against that other team because they're reaching and grabbing to catch up. Check the glass after that one. Well, he's only 54% uh, coming into this game from the free throw line, so that's an indicator. Well, it won't go up after that series. One for two. 10.45 left to go. Iowa State started this game with a 12-0 spurt and never looked back. Boy, I thought that time if he comes back to the middle, he has a three-on-two situation. But instead, he gets it to Justice Thigpen, who nails it. Justice now with 13. 
Except for that little wackadaisical start that the Cyclones had here in the second half. They really played an excellent game. Hoiberg knocked it out of bounds. Hoiberg saying, all right, you're going to show me the ball. I'll just whack it out of there. He's got quick hands, doesn't he? Yeah, that's a walk. Boy, he, he was backing his way in there. Clem Haskins could only hang his head. <laughs> Things are not going well. That might be legal in Africa, but not <laughs> over here. Nice steal by Walton. Nice steal by Morgan. Here comes Eaton to Thigpen. Back inside to Meyer, and I'm not sure he was waiting for it. It went off Ziga Masabo. Meyer saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought you were going to shoot it. <laughs> Not a bad play. No. Well, Thickpin had the wide open shot from outside, but if he gets it through there, it's uh, an easy two. Boy, it's a slam dunk. Inside, Meyer. And a foul on Hoiberg as Townsend Orr slipped in underneath. Let's watch Fred. He takes the ball and just keeps coming, comes underneath. The defender gets up. Stands there, actually kind of pushes off. And they call Fred Hoiberg for the offensive foul. And he says, me? No way. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen that reaction a little bit. <laughs> Hardly ever when someone fouls someone and they go, yeah, yeah, you're right. I did that. You're right. Good call, ref. Or inside the three-point line sixth or seventh air ball thrown up. Yeah, I'll have to say it again, that this club does not look good shooting from the outside, except for Leonard. Nice dish off. Nice finish. Walton with a half dozen all this half. And he came off a 20-point game out at Santa Clara, where he's 10 out of 15 from the field in that game. So he has offensive potential. Minnesota with two of their normal starters out with injuries, McDonald and Randy Carter. Minnesota still out 18, but I think Clem Haskins has to be proud of this club that didn't come out after the way they were dominated in the first half and just go down. Meyer with the tip home. He's got 15, one shy of his career high. Meyer's dragging a little bit. I hope he's not hurt. Seriously, he's kind of limping back. Walton finishes that one. Pass the ball, not going to get into too much dribbling. These guys are 10 tired guys on the court right now. Good job by Iowa State of attacking back, though, against that, that press. And once they beat it, they went right to the basket. Walton doing it here in the second half. Boy, Hoiberg has punched hard. Man, he really got it in the face. Watch. Shot goes up. Long rebound. Hoiberg goes for it, and he gets hit hard. Mm. Not intentional. I mean, that's just something that happens when you're reaching. Let's watch the arrow. You see there the swipe of the ball comes up. I don't know if he caught it in the eye or he's looking at the eye. Might have gotten scratched a little bit. We'll check uh, as he goes over. He's kind of. Well, oh, that hurts. Scratched just a little bit. Hoiberg saying, I'm all right, I'm all right. Tough. He's a hard-nosed kid. <laughs> Boy, he is a tough kid. Mamas, let your babies grow up to be Fred Hoiberg. <laughs> Haskins showing great calm here with the jacket still on. <laughs> you thought it'd be gone by now, didn't it? History torn to shreds. Hoiberg now trying to focus. Focused enough to hit that one. 8-14 left to go in this one. Every time Minnesota makes a little run, Iowa State comes right back. And Iowa State now up by 22 again. Hoiberg will get a rest. Bayless checks back in. This place is going nuts for the Cyclones tonight, and they should. 
to Steele. Steele back. Zolander. I kind of lost sight of the ball. I was watching quite a battle between Wolf and Minkley. And Wolf frustrated right now. He picked up the foul. His fourth. It happened so fast, I couldn't tell whether uh, the preceding play, whether he rolled over to save the ball or not, which you cannot do. Right. Big Ben will go to the line. He's 4-4 four four tonight. Two-point lead for Iowa State. 7.55 to go. The clones are rolling. Two on two, Sam City, and I'm the mayor. Yo, fellas, how about a game of hoops? Hey, what? With you? No, with your mama. Mom? This guy was good, but he was all dribble. Say what? Come on, oh, man. Man, he deserved one of these. Franchise, want the cool butt? Solid. It is a time of traditions, of happiness and hope, when each of us, in our own way and according to our own beliefs, is warmed by the fire of love, family, and friendship. It is a time to remember days gone by and dream of those that lie ahead. Healthy holidays from HMO Iowa. May the joy of this season be yours through all of the seasons to come. Say goodbye 92 with a goodbye in 92. Now through January 2nd, you can get a goodbye on a new 1993 Cadillac from Bats Cadillac. Get a goodbye on a new 93 Lexus from Bats Lexus. Or get a goodbye on an exceptional used car from Bats Cadillac's pre-owned lot. Say goodbye 92 with the best prices of the year on a new Cadillac, Lexus, or top quality used car. Goodbye 92 at Betts Cadillac and Betts Lexus. Well, let's check the True Value scoreboard. And you see Marquette was a little bit of a surprise over Illinois by three. Cincinnati by 10 over Dayton. And it's Evansville beating up on Indiana State at the half. California leading James Madison. That one in the first half early on by three. And right here, it's Iowa State enjoying a 75-53 lead over Minnesota. With Gary Thompson, I'm Dave Armstrong. Leonard glides in. He's fouled. Count the basket. He'll go to the line. Or wait a minute. No, a foul on Leonard, they're saying. And if that's true, he's gone. Count the basket, but the foul is on Leonard. See what happens here. That is a good call. If you saw there, the ball was released before he made contact. The ball is gone, and then he comes into the defender right there. Good call by Ron Spittler. So Leonard will foul out. Right now Haskins probably saying, hey, nobody said it was going to be easy on the road. He leaves with 15 all from the field. And boy, with him gone now, Gary, they, they really are losing some scoring punch. <laughs> that leaves them, as I've said before, without anybody that I've seen that shoots it outside real well. They do have Ryan Wolf, a sophomore. Speaking of punch, there's Fred Hoiberg, who <laughs> suffered one, but seems to be okay now. Pep band coming up with a little uh, happy trails there. <laughs> as Leonard left with five fouls. And Hoiberg will check in for Morgan Wheat, who drew the foul, so Fred gets to go to the line. Nice way for Hoiberg to add to his point total. Huh? <laughs> the other guy takes the abuse, you get the points. <laughs> Hoiberg now with 14. 
77-55. Iowa State's been hovering around that 22-point lead much of this half. Minnesota's made a couple of mini runs, but the Cyclones have countered each time. Thompson Orr throws up a three. It's no good, and a foul inside as the Cyclones were working for position. Minnesota made a run early, had it to 13, and that's as close as they got it. And then there's two big three-point shots by Hoyerberger in that stretch. Watch it on the inside, and they're clearing out. <laughs> they call that on Eaton. Morgan Weed over there changing jerseys. He must have come up with possibly uh, blood. That's yep. the only thing I can think of. That's the new rule. You have to either change the jersey or wash the blood out of the jersey. No wonder going to the free throw line. In fact, I saw Joe Moderman, who's on the red shirt. They took a jersey off of him and was getting ready for uh, Morgan Wheat. And then somebody got to the dressing room quick enough to get his double zero number back, an extra jersey. Morgan Wheat, the senior, is a little more filled out than Moderman said. <laughs> no, that one won't fit me. <laughs> Give me that muscular jersey. Kevin Baker, a freshman out of Toledo, checks in for Minnesota. Colander now in double figures with 10, all except two in this half. Seven and a half to go. You see the time remaining and the score. Iowa State by 20. You're gone. You're history. Well, and Baker just give him the baseline. Yes. Yes, Lick. That one went off big pin and out of bounds. I tell you, Justice, the senior. I'm I'm serious. He went to work on Baker, the freshman. He he kind of came in, glided by him, then pulled it back. Said, "All right, I'll get you next time." And then, as soon as he got it back, boom, history. Tubbs thought about putting it up, thought again. From the corner for three, no good. Got put up by Grimm, that was a grim effort. Huh? Holander, good job there, getting up high, couldn't get the ball, but just tipped it out, kept it alive for the Gophers. And Minnesota has done a better job on the glass this half, and a foul on Thigpen. Justice now with three fouls in this game. You know what? I don't think the scoreboard is going to come into play in this game. <laughs> no, Iowa State won't need it. If it is, it isn't going to be for the deciding basket. That's right. That's the only thing uh, Iowa State's worried about is that scoreboard right now is the time. 6.38 to go. You see the score. They've got this one well in hand. Just take care of business. Minnesota as a team shooting a little over 64% from that foul line. As you mentioned earlier, Iowa State there at 73%. There's that running one-hander from Mikulik. What a tough shot. Mikulik nearing double figures now with eight. That's what I was taking a peek at here. Yeah. Keep that streak going uh, this year for double-figure games. Tubbs trying to work on Hoiberg. Fred stayed right with him. Now to Townsend Orr, who's had Bayless riding in his back pocket the whole way. Orr puts up a long one. Big Ben tracks it down. I like his new haircut. It's good. Mikuli ah! pulled his way in. No call. Grimm looking inside. Colander. Tubbs had Hoiberg sealed off, but the pass went out of bounds. And a timeout I called by Minnesota. Minnesota. They've used two now. 542 to go in this one. And Iowa State cruising. 81-57. It's been said, living in the country, running a farm and working with the land lets you better appreciate the basic things in life and better see what really counts, like the value of good decisions and how you find it's often what you carry with you that determines how far you go. what kind of copier dealer you got until you have a problem.
But when you call a Minolta dealer, hi. This is Bart Christensen of M&M Sales Company. How may we help you? You'll always have a dealer who makes service and response a number one priority. So if you buy a Minolta copier from us, we'll leave no problem unsolved and no question unanswered. Only one minivan's ever been named an automobile magazine all-star five years in a row. It's Dodge Caravan. And Caravan's a 93 Motor Trend Best Buy. So, we're throwing an award celebration sale. Now you can save over $2,100 on this Grand Caravan because we've priced it the same as a regular caravan. That's 25 extra cubic feet of space at no extra charge. So come celebrate with us. Drive a caravan at your nearest Dodge dealer today. Time remaining, that's the score. All Iowa State has to do is mine their P's and Q's and it's victory number seven. And with Bethune-Cookman coming up, they'll have number eight. I'm guaranteeing a win. <laughs> I'm going out on a limb. Bethune-Cookman, who lost by 42 to Minnesota. And here Iowa State is up 81-57 on these same Gophers. So how good is Bethune-Cookman? One in six on the year. And haven't played since that Minnesota game. They'll be rested. <laughs> 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 uh oh. <laughs> Cole had their body checking Big Lord Byron. And Lord just ran over it. And Justice just nailed a three. Thigpen now with 20. Backcourt scoring for Iowa State. Bayless and Thigpen have combined for 42 points. That's half the scoring for Iowa State. It'll be the third consecutive game, uh, 20 points or more for Justice Thickpit. Jason Walton picking it up here in the second half with 10 all this half. Eaton looking inside. Going to have to be careful. He's got four fouls. And he really did what the defense let him do that time. Cole Ander overcommitted a little bit up on the high side of him. And as soon as he got to pass, boom, he took it right to the basket. It's a good recognition. This sellout crowd waiting for Oh, man. Andre. Cole Ander stuck that elbow right in Eaton's face. Yeah. Oh! Tipped out. Here comes Justice. Four on one. Alley oop! And now a foul call. I really think that young man's been asking to leave the game. He's taken a couple of shots. Cyclone's blowing down across court. It's going to put the lob up. But Minnesota retreating the defensive man right there. That's Nate Tubbs gets a hand on it. And then Cole Ander just takes a swipe and says, I'm gone. And he's the second one to foul out for Minnesota. Two down, 13 to go. Cole Ander is a kid that Iowa State recruited some. Uh, Seven from the line. Well, is it possible? Greg Hester, the Greg Hester watch. It begins here at the four minute mark. And on his left was the Joe Moderman that was talking about. <laughs> Who's being red red shirted. Shirted. Sure, yeah. yeah. Out of Michigan. Now he's still got ties to yeah. Michigan, doesn't he? Still a legend back in that state. A legend in Iowa, too. Almost always gets that ball at the top of his jump. He's with perfect timing. He's always on the right side of the basket. Oh, there we go. That's the right side. 18 for Hoiberg. And he acknowledges back to uh, Eaton for the pass. A little hand signal saying, nice going, Howard. Good old fashioned blowout here in Hilton. And that was out of bounds off Walton. It will go to Iowa State. Ten points is all the Cyclones need now to get to 100. Morgan Wheat checks back in off the bench. Yeah. Speaking, of, speaking of Morgan, 
Tonight's DuPont extra zine two off the bench player is Morgan Wheat. Really hustled all over, came off the bench to spark the Cyclones. DuPont extra zine two, the people who go no-till go extra zine two. Yeah, he really played quick tonight. He hustled, uh, disrupted on defense, and has had some steals. Had that one nice flip pass on the drive and the dish off for the easy two to Mikuli. Six and zero oh coming in because we said they had not played anybody of any uh, stature at all. I guess. And uh, <laughs> they come here and found out. They, as you said, Clem Haskins. Clem Haskins would probably be saying, "I found out what a cyclone is too." That's right. His name is Robert Morley. Bayless turned down the three. Well, Minnesota had been out rebounding their opponents by 12 a game, out scoring their opponents by 30 a game. That's how weak their schedule was. Bayless for another three. Put your name in the record book, Rob Bayless. <laughs> it's, a a, chance. <laughs> it's a shootout at the Hilton Corral. Tubbs. No. Meyer comes in for the rebound. And then let's see the foul. I think that's going to go against David Washington. Howard Eaton saying, I want to shoot some free throws. will check out. Here's the three. And our Pioneer Seed Corn Cyclone player of the game is that man, number four, Ron Bayless. What a tremendous night. 25 points, four assists, a couple of steals. Congratulations, Ronnie. That's our Pioneer Seed Corn Cyclone player of the game. What an effort. I really think he set the tone of this game in the first half. He came out defensively, he made a steal or two early, took the ball down on the break and hit the shots and just took everything away from Minnesota. Boy, home sweet home for these Cyclones, huh? <laughs> if only they could play all their games here at Hilton. Of course, they got that tough one coming up against Bethune-Cookman on Thursday. That'll be a real battle. I hope. <laughs> I, mean, I love Johnny Orr, but I hope he doesn't try to sell that one as a real battle. <laughs> Howard Eaton checks out. Eaton, a great job off the bench as well. He could have been our off the bench winner. Eight points. Hester's getting closer and closer to the coach, too. Two points away from 100 for Iowa State. He'll get that and a bunch more. Hester still looking for his first basket of the year. So is Mark Carlson. There's, there's Hess. And Carlson sitting off to the left on the screen to Hester's right. This all started with a 12-zip run by Iowa State to start the game. That set the tone. The only lapse in this ball game for Iowa State is we talked for about the initial two minutes of the yeah. second half. Tubbs hits the free throw. Tubbs, one of only two seniors on this team. It's a young club for Minnesota. They're going to be around yeah. for a few years. You say they're playing without two starters, and Clem Haskins is looking for this year and next year to be two of their five years. And after that cupcake schedule for Minnesota, now they play Memphis State on Thursday and then UAB on Saturday. So the schedule gets much tougher, and then on into Big Ten play for them. This might be a rude awakening. I know Bivens can't get it to fall. And a foul that time on Washington for clearing out. At this point, there's not much you can do but smile. 118 to go. 98-63. You got to feel like when Iowa State gets to that 100 mark, Hess and Carlson are coming in. Check him back. 
in is Kevin Baker. I'm not sure what was the announcement. I didn't hear, but I thought it was. They called it not a foul, just a out of bounds. And they took the foul away from Washington. Oh, that really made it a I don't know what else it could have been, though, unless he walked and they. Johnny's over there. He's got J.C. Linebox's attention <laughs> for a moment, anyway. Yeah. I could read John Leslie says it doesn't make any difference, but let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Thompson or can you believe it, Gary? That's his first point of the game. Or he's averaging yeah. six point seven a game. And, but, uh, there was a key there again. I go back to Bayless. He turned him every time. He couldn't handle Bayless up front. He'd always turn and consequently they could not get their uh, offense initiated. This was not a game I expected to see Greg Hester. And I think we might. Bergman gives it up for Beecham for three. Oh, that would have been the 100 and a silly millimeter more. Off a of week and to Minnesota. This sellout crowd is sticking around to see when they get to that 100. And Haskins has kept the jacket on. I have to give the guy credit. I think he figured, oh well, <laughs> might as well look good over here because we're getting <laughs> our brains beat in. I was well, still doing a lot of sagging on the inside. Brown with the foul. And don't forget the Bethune Cookman, what are the Wildcats, right? <laughs> they come in here with that one and six record. Hot off of that 92 50 loss to Minnesota. We'll be here Thursday night. We'll have it here on CTN. Seven o'clock. That'll uh, get your New Year's Eve party started off in the right direction. Mark Carlson comes in. And now only Hester in a way. Good to see Morgan Wheat come back. I thought he played well. He didn't score points, but that's that always indicative of how you're playing to do the play the rest of the game. Carlson. Well, he did two things on the stat page. He got a rebound and a turnover. <laughs> I don't think Hess is going to make it. 44 seconds to go. Brown. Well, he can get to the 100 with the free throws. You could see it in his eyes that uh, Fred Brown is going to take that ball to the basket. Let's watch him over here. A little spin. Takes it in, jumps between two guys. <laughs> Look at how he takes that ball out around and almost makes the bucket. 99. Disappointment for Johnny Orr, and I'm sure he's not disappointed in the least. 